interstellar travel, the idea of journeying beyond our solar system, seemed to explore distant stars and potentially habitable planets, has long captured the imagination of humanity. While this concept has been a staple of sci-fi, recent advances in space technology have brought this possibility closer to reality. Interstellar travel represents one of the greatest challenges in human history, requiring innovations in propulsion, life support, and spacecraft design far beyond what's available today. Despite these monumental obstacles, the vision of reaching other star systems remains a driving force for scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. Among the leaders in this ambitious pursuit is Elon Musk and his company SpaceX. Known for its revolutionary advancements in rocket technology, SpaceX has set its sights on a future where humanity colonizes other planets within our solar system and reaches the stars. While the company is currently focused on developing the Starship for missions to Mars and beyond, Elon's made it clear that his ultimate goal is to make interstellar travel a reality. The Starship is designed to traverse our entire solar system and beyond to the cloud of objects surrounding us. A future Starship, much larger and more advanced, will travel to other star systems. To realize this, SpaceX has created an advanced spacecraft so capable, large, and powerful that it can surpass the vast distances between star systems. The company is currently focusing on developing the Starship Super Heavy a revolutionary spacecraft designed for deep space exploration. This launch vehicle boasts twice the power of the Saturn V moon rocket, making it the most powerful spacecraft ever developed. The Starship Super Heavy is intended to be fully reusable, transporting up to 200 tons of cargo or passengers to destinations in space at a low cost. This capability opens up the entire solar system for human exploration, making it feasible to build bases on the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Looking to the future, SpaceX has more plans. Elon announced that the company is already conceptualizing more versions of the Starship. These starships would be significantly larger and more sophisticated, designed to travel to other star systems and possibly send humans to neighboring stars. While this technology needed for interstellar travels far beyond what any country or company currently has, SpaceX is determined to lay the foundation for humanity's journey to the stars. The first step towards this milestone is the colonization of Mars, a long-held ambition of Elon Musk. He set an ambitious goal to colonize Mars by sending one million people to the Red Planet by 2050. This initiative is driven by the belief that establishing a self-sustaining colony on Mars is crucial for the future of humanity's presence in space. With its unique environment and access to resources like water, ice, and a variety of minerals, Mars offers the potential for in-situ resource utilization, allowing colonists to produce the materials needed for survival and construction directly on the planet. This capability would reduce the dependency on supplies from Earth making long-term livability more feasible and cost-effective. Additionally, Mars's lower gravity and its proximity to the asteroid belt make it an ideal location for launching other exploration missions, including those aimed at interstellar travel. Strategically, Mars could serve as a key launch point for missions beyond our solar system. Its location and resources provide a valuable staging ground for developing and testing the technologies needed for interstellar journeys, facilitating the next great leap in human exploration. One of the most exciting and speculative concepts for interstellar travel is the Alcubierre Drive, a theoretical propulsion system that could enable faster-than-light travel. Proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994, the idea involves creating a warp bubble around a spacecraft, contracting space in front of it and expanding space behind it. Instead of the ship moving through space, space itself would move, allowing the vessel to effectively surf on this wave of warped space-time. This would theoretically allow the spacecraft to travel faster than light without violating the laws of physics, as the ship would not technically be moving through space at superluminal speeds, but rather idling at the curvature of space-time. While the Alcubierre Drive offers a tantalizing vision of faster-than-light travel, it faces enormous scientific and technological challenges. One of the biggest is the energy requirement. Creating and sustaining a warp bubble would likely demand an astronomical amount of energy, potentially equivalent to the mass energy of entire stars. 
Furthermore, the drive would require exotic forms of matter or negative energy, substances that have not yet been proven to exist in the necessary quantities or may not exist at all. This makes the energy demands far beyond our current rocket technological capabilities. Chemical rockets, which rely on the combustion of propellants to generate thrust, are the foundation of modern space exploration. However, they are limited by the relatively low efficiency of chemical reactions. While chemical rockets are sufficient for reaching nearby destinations like the Moon or Mars, they are impractical for interstellar travel due to their inability to achieve the high speeds necessary to cover the vast distances between stars within a reasonable time frame. At best, chemical rockets could only reach a tiny fraction of the speed of light, meaning that a journey to the nearest star system, Proxima Centauri, would take hundreds of thousands of years. To overcome this, SpaceX is exploring propulsion technologies that could make that feasible. One approach is the development of nuclear rockets. Nuclear propulsion could significantly increase the speed of spacecraft by using reactions to generate thrust. The technology has the potential to enable spacecraft to reach a much higher fraction of the speed of light, reducing travel times to other star systems for millennia to just decades. For instance, a nuclear-powered vehicle could potentially reach Proxima Centauri in half a century, making it viable for long-distance missions. Another, even more advanced concept under consideration is the use of antimatter engines. Antimatter offers the potential for a leap in propulsion technology due to the energy released when matter and antimatter annihilate each other. This reaction creates roughly nine times more energy than nuclear, making it possible to achieve speeds much closer to that of light. An antimatter starship could dramatically reduce the travel time to neighboring star systems, potentially making journeys achievable within a single human lifetime. However, developing antimatter engines presents its own set of challenges, such as the production, storage, and handling, which currently remains prohibitively expensive and technologically complex. Scientifically, sustaining human life for extended periods in space introduces unprecedented complexities. Interstellar missions would need closed-loop life support systems capable of recycling air, water, and food for potentially multiple generations of people. Radiation protection, artificial gravity, and psychological well-being on long voyages are also concerns that remain unsolved. The political challenges are also significant. The development of advanced propulsion systems, particularly nuclear or antimatter, could trigger geopolitical tensions, as these technologies could be perceived as dual use with potential military applications. Furthermore, the approval and regulation of interstellar missions, which may involve mining space resources or launching large-scale projects, would require international cooperation. Global treaties governing space, like the Outer Space Treaty, may need revision to address the new realities of deep space exploration. Developing and deploying these advanced technologies also carries risks. The use of nuclear power in space, for instance, poses environmental hazards in the event of accidents both during launch and in space. Antimatter, if mishandled, could result in catastrophic explosions. There are also risks associated with long-term human spaceflight, radiation exposure, equipment failure, and the psychological toll of isolation. These uncertainties make interstellar travel not only a monumental technical challenge, but also a risky venture with potentially far-reaching consequences for humanity. Despite the enthusiasm for interstellar exploration, these immense challenges must be navigated carefully, balancing ambition with responsibility and ensuring that the pursuit of stars does not come at too great a cost. Yet another challenge will arise within the interstellar travel process. Alcubierre Drive is ensuring the safety of the spacecraft and its occupants. The theoretical model suggests that intense gravitational forces could be generated within the warp bubble, potentially harming the spacecraft or any nearby objects in space. Additionally, the Alcubierre Drive would likely generate enormous amounts of radiation, which could pose significant risks to both the crew and any destination it reaches. Despite these challenges, the concept of Alcubierre Drive continues to inspire scientists and engineers as a potential solution for overcoming the seemingly insurmountable distances between stars. While still in the realm of sci-fi, it represents a cutting edge of theoretical physics and space travel, a vision of a future where interstellar travel could be completed in months instead of centuries. SpaceX is certain to be the pioneer for this greater goal in the coming years.
Starship is going to be the key player in conquering the vast limits of space. Therefore, although Starship is currently still a new vehicle testing, it always carries an aura of potential that can accomplish anything with continuous innovation and upgrades. Once SpaceX successfully achieves regular operations with Starship, similar to the current Falcon 9, it'll simultaneously accelerate the development of new plans like traveling to Mars and interstellar exploration. Of course, this cannot be done without funding from the Starlink business. The financial potential of Starlink is quite staggering. With millions of people across 99 countries already subscribing, SpaceX projects that Starlink could generate up to a trillion dollars annually once fully operational. This money could not only come from traditional internet subscriptions, but also from emerging markets like mobile phone services, where conventional networks struggle to provide coverage. Starlink's ability to provide fast broadband to areas with little to no connectivity opens a vast and largely untapped market of potential users. This revenue would come with exceptionally high profit margins since satellite operations require low maintenance after deployment. By securing a steady and substantial cash flow from Starlink, SpaceX can reduce its reliance on external investors and government contracts, allowing the company to develop the technologies necessary for Mars colonization and interstellar travel. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.